whole rail system is being transformed. With $155 billion of new investments in trains, tracks and technology underway, rail will play a bigger role in our nation's future. But right now, Australia's rail system is fragmented. There are 29 networks with three railway gauges, 11 separate signalling systems and countless different working rules. This makes it costly and complex to deliver better services for passengers and freight. At the National Transport Commission, we're working with all governments and industry on a nationally consistent approach to align new digital technology, standards and skills training to make rail more efficient. It's all part of the National Rail Action Plan to create an even safer, sustainable and seamless rail system that plays a bigger role in lifting national productivity. Australian governments have asked the National Transport Commission to help reduce the many differences across networks and make it simpler to get new trains running. More consistency will also mean that workers don't need to retrain every time they change a job and more manufacturing will be local. There'll also be more passenger and freight services connecting our cities, regions and ports. In this digital age, the rail system should work much like your mobile phone. Whether you have an Apple or an Android, you can talk to anyone because there's one connected system underpinning it. We're taking the handbrake off rail, so it plays a bigger role in the nation's economy and attracts a more diverse workforce into rewarding careers with skills that are recognised across Australia. Through the National Rail Action Plan, we're on track towards an integrated and interoperable railway system.